Hello there. My name is Ascendant Nomad, and today we're breaking down Endless Veil vale for Trials of Osiris. This is not a full map breakdown, these are just some tips from my experiences on playing on this map extensively. Let's begin. Number 1. Endless is a map of many straight lanes that are quick to move between. Teams with good rotation and spatial awareness will come out on top here. Don't stay in one spot for too long, you will 100% get pinched and someone will go down. Number 2. Because of the quick rotation required, high damage in small windows of time will be essential. 120 and 140 RPM hand cannons will be vital, as well as shotguns of any description. Clever fusion players should seek to bait out the shotgunners in more open lanes. Number 3. Snipers. Due to Endless being a relatively compact map with few truly long sniper lanes, the typical sniper spots are well known and predictable. Do not tick up these spots unless you're okay with having a netcode battle with another sniper. Rotate. Number 4. Never leave a Guardian alone if you can avoid it. Straight lanes mean it's hard to cover someone on certain parts of the map if they're seeking to flank or to stop a team from entering their area. If you've broken line of sight to your team, you're isolated. Number 5. The middle lane is for passing through, not fighting. Thank me later. Number 6. Toilet or lower, or temple, or quick play heavy, or whatever you call it, is the number one rotation channel for teams if you can't seem to unstick the opponents. Radar pings from this area are predictable, but also incredibly hard to ignore if you're the other team. Use this as a flanking tool to pinch teams, but be careful if you are alone, and play your life. Number seven, use Dead Man's Tail aggressively, or Bastion, with fast movement. Don't look at me, I didn't tune this game. Number 8. Avoid playing corners in rounds 1, 3, and 5. Duskfield grenades and stasis are insanely effective at pulling people into spots they'd rather not be in. Number 9. The cubbies, which are the L-shaped short tunnels leading from middle lane into B, are perfect for shuriken spam. Use your shurikens liberally if you see someone going to a cubby. Number 10. If you spawn by the traditional C point, which is Gulch, there's actually a spot on the rocks in the cave at Bend looking into B that's atypical for the opponents to be looking at. You can see right into Portal, which is the A spawn equivalent, from here. This spot will only work once. Number 11. Be patient. As your cards get deeper, a greater abundance of teams will try and out-rotate each other. It's a dance, not a sprint. Put your best foot forward. Number 12. Talk to your team and work with them. There's going to be a lot of players this weekend as of the release of this video because Igneous Hammer is available at 3 wins. Even if your goal is to get to just 3 wins, you can do this. Talking to your team constructively already puts you well above the norm in terms of teamwork. Number 13. Go follow Relict and study his maps. He posts them every week for every map. This is one of the better maps in Destiny. Elimination on Endless can be tough, but hopefully you go into it with a clear head and a positive mindset. Just remember, if there are cheaters, free peekers, stasis abusers, or DDoSers, it's not in your control. Don't let it tilt you. Play to win, play to have fun. Good luck. If you like this video, you know what to do. See you next week. Cheers.